Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Wave at WPI, checking with 9364A Iron Eagles Alibi. Uh, this team had a good performance at Haunted and also two other event wins so far, so congratulations on a good season as you're coming through. But of course, looking for big things here uh, at the Wave too. 9364A coming off a full rebuild, so lots of great stuff we're going to be covering uh, within this robot. I really love their whole lift mechanism and the blocker incorporated, and some cool things to talk about with their drivetrain uh, coming in from their intake to their wings. So much to unpack with this robot. Let's learn more about them coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Dan, let's start off on this robot talking about your drivetrain. You're doing something cool with how uh, your whole drivetrain is separated. And I know you also want to talk about uh, different parts of your robot with your climbing max as well. Yeah, so at Haunted, we noticed getting over the barrier that uh, it was a little bit difficult because we were back heavy. So we decided on this next iteration to move the two front wheels uh, forward and leave a space. And then it just glides over uh, Lex and Peace. And that has been a lot more effective at this tournament. And uh, you know, you just you just hop right over the barriers. It'll tip forward. And then with uh, with our hanging, we have two methods of hanging, so we can hang with our partner no matter what. So on our lift, we have just a passive, which um, is just two standoffs, and we just drive into the bar, and it's a little bit too low, so it'll ride our robot up and then just hang just barely off the ground. And then we also have a uh, oh, we have a uh, barrier hooks which are one piston actually under the battery here and it'll pull on string which pulls these uh these little metal pieces back and they're rubber banded downwards so it'll just just deploy right down and uh we've been able to hang a lot with our partners pretty much no matter what and can get some good wins on your drive train when you're looking at doing a full redesign uh how's that how does that affect like your chassis build for that too like did you have to go with a completely different hole count for it or how did that work out? It's the same ratio. We just had to play around with, you know, fitting in size because it's longer, of course. Uh, but no, we like the ratio. We just switched it to six motors and, uh, you know, cut some plastic gussets and some sleds on the front. Awesome. And obviously working out so well so far as we're filming yeah. this, you're doing really good here uh, at the Wave. Uh, let's keep moving on. Uh, talk to Henry uh, in regards to uh, your uh, intake, your lift uh, as well too. Talk to me what's gone into it. Yeah, so I'm going to first start with our intake. So we decided that we wanted to use uh, flex wheels because at Haunted, we had a moment where in semifinals, we got entangled with our opponent in the middle of the field and that wasn't illegal. It just um, lost us a ton of time in the match. So we learned from that and we decided that flex wheels was a um, better design for the intake. And we also used a distance sensor on the intake to help us um, not contain too many trebles. And just keep one to keep that, possess to keep, to keep that um, possession limit. Very cool. And then uh, on your lift here, you got a pretty monstrous lift uh, that goes into it. So talk to me more about the lift and uh, how, especially during your rebuild, how you approach that. Yeah, so the lift, we decided that we didn't want to use uh, a motor on the uh, lift because we wanted to have that extra uh, power on the base. Because at um, Haunted, we had a five motor base and we decided that it was more important to have a six motor base and a uh, two piston lift. So if you could lift that up. Please. So the lift is powered by two pistons, and this basically raises our uh, kicker, which is um, 100 uh, RPM. It is six, uh, 36 to 60. And we also, um, and then I think Sam's going to get into the blocker. Yeah, definitely. On your uh, match, how quickly are you going through a match load cycle right now? So currently, in our last match, I would say we got all of them off in around, like, 23 to 27 seconds so sure. that leaves us a ton of time in skills and in matches to uh, score and play defense. Awesome. Sam, let's talk about integration with your blocker as well too. One of the things I love to see with teams is the versatility that you can bring to a match and while your team has been doing great from an offensive side, that blocker with the new meta really has really come into play in the last events we've seen. So talk to me more about it. Oh yeah, so our blocker, we have um, pins or screws that we put in it. So whenever our lift goes up, our blocker will go up um, if it has air in it. Um, so with this, we can stop uh, teams from match loading and just effectively block them from getting any try balls onto the other side of the field. We can also use our lift as a blocker 
as well. And our lift, our blocker is passive, so without these screws in, the lift will actually go back up and the blocker will stay down. So. Very cool. As we start to wrap up this robot tape, talk to me about the uh, wings uh, on your bot. Uh, anything that uh, stands out from it that you want to tell the VRC community? And uh, I'd love to see, of course, with rebuilds, did you have to make any big modifications to how you approach wings uh, on your robot? Well, yes, of course. One of the biggest things about this robot that we focused on is making sure that every single part of the robot is versatile. So specifically with our wings, when they come down, we use them to push tri balls across the offensive zone into the our offensive zone, which is incredibly helpful. They also help us to sweep the tri balls into the goal more effectively. But we also use them in order to contact the match load bar when we're match loading in order to make sure that we're within those regulations. And during our win point autonomous, we are able to remove the tri ball from the match load zone in order to get the autonomous win point. Awesome. Well, once again, uh, this team, uh, Alibi, coming in from the Iron Eagles, looking really good here at WNA team, too. So uh, congratulations on a great season so far. But we're looking forward to seeing how you do at the Wave here and, of course, the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.